Hi everyone, Christy here. Thanks so much for joining. Today's video is another one for lovers of historic homes and fans of interior design. In my last video, I shared with you some of the design challenges we faced in working with an outdated floor plan. We brought the kitchen up from the basement and into the light. This week's video is much the same. We're gonna be talking about the main bathroom remodel, another design challenge. In this hallway were two doors. One was a small closet, the other a tiny all-in-one bathroom. In the very back, the bedroom with the flowery wallpaper would become our main bathroom. Like the kitchen, the bathrooms were functional spaces and were given low priority on floor plan design. Shower, sink, and toilet were all within a few steps of each other. One complaint about old homes is that they don't have enough storage space or closets. In this 13 by 15 bedroom, we would desperately need storage space. We took about a quarter of the square footage and designed a much needed closet. The original laundry room had been in the basement kitchen, another non-negotiable, so we brought it upstairs to put in the closet. We added a pull-out laundry hamper and cabinetry to store the laundry detergent. This folding laundry station proved to be genius. Every inch of space was precious. We transformed the old hallway closet into a separate toilet room. The tiny all-in-one bathroom became a standalone shower. We used marble tile in different patterns, Victorian brass hardware for the shower, and a mosaic tile floor. Everything came together when the 200-pound clawfoot tub with brass hardware was placed in front of the fireplace. Chinoiserie from the word chinois, which is French for Chinese, was a style inspired by the art and design of Asian countries in the 18th century. Because it would have been popular in Victorian times, it suited my aim of giving a contemporary spin to a bygone era. For the base color, I chose a soothing blue, two shades lighter than the bedroom, but in the same color wave. This would connect the two rooms as a suite. To create an aged look, I brushed a cream-colored chalk paint in irregular patterns to make the walls look worn. Then I took a 12-inch wide woven ribbon and pinned it to the wall, using it as a stencil. I applied the same shade of darker blue in the bedroom over the ribbon to create a grid-like pattern. I wanted the background to look textured. Next, for my secret weapon, I used a stick of chalk to draw the mural. This way I can see what needs to be changed before I commit with paint. Once happy with the drawing, I started painting. I watered down the acrylic paint in some areas to make it look faded, like antique wallpaper. This mural took several months, and I spent as much time on the background as I did the chinoiserie design. I love the cheerful springtime feel of the bathroom that comes from being surrounded by butterflies, birds, and flowers. Lighting, art, and accessories are the icing on the design cake. I used a modern version of a Victorian globe light chandelier and contemporary brass candlesticks for the two vanity areas. And now for my favorite part, the art. I painted this portrait of a spaniel over a printed wooden portrait of a Victorian lady. This paper cut by artist Hiromi Manihan is really special to me. Each of her pieces is cut by hand from a single sheet of paper. It's incredibly contemporary with its diamond shaped frame and balances out the traditional accents of the silver tray and glass jars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe. We have so many beautiful historic homes in Eufaula and I can't wait to share them with you. Until then, bye for now.